you may be seated. It's time now for our children's message. If our kids would like to come forward for our children's message, we know that we have those who are joining with us online and in our television broadcast. They're welcome to gather around our screens. So today, we are talking about prayer. We're talking about prayer. You guys, uh, you guys have heard of prayer for sure, haven't you? I, I know Miss Mary has taught you to pray, and she's prayed with you. Prayer is just simply a, is just simply us talking to God, and I also believe God talking to us. I believe that God speaks to us. God speaks very clearly to us. We have to kind of learn how to how to hear uh, for God's voice as opposed to other things that we're we're hearing or even our own our own thoughts or imagination, but it is, it's, um, most of prayer really begins with us talking to God, and sometimes we wonder, what, what, would, what would we ever say to God? And, and when we begin to pray, a lot of times uh, we want to pray for other people, and so I have a, I have a way to, rem, to remind ourselves how to pray just using, using your hand, using the five fingers on your hand. It's called the five-finger prayer. And so, as you look at your hand, the, the finger that is closest to you is your what? Your thumb. That's right. And so, and so, your thumb reminds you to pray for those who are closest to you. Who are some people that are, that are close to you? Who, who, who are some people that are close to you? Your family? Maybe your friends? Maybe your, maybe your classmates? In, um, maybe your classmates at school? We need to pray for those who are, who are closest to us. And, and this is known as the pointer finger. And it, uh, people who use this, peep, uh, this finger, they, they point us different places. And so we need to remember those who, who lead us. Maybe our teachers and, and our parents and others who, who point us in the right direction. Maybe Miss Mary or, or those that work in the nursery or our Sunday school teachers. They point us in the right direction. And this finger right here is the tallest finger. It's the tallest finger, and so it reminds us to pray for those who are in leadership. People who who oftentimes we think are very important, they need to be prayed for. The mayor of Amarillo, our, our governor, the president of the United States, maybe the principal at your school, and other leaders in our community and leaders in our lives. This finger is the weakest of all the fingers. Did you know that? That finger is weaker than any of the other fingers. If you, if you ask a piano player, they'll tell you that, that finger is the hardest to learn how to, how, to, how to push and be able to push down a key because it's the weakest. And so that finger reminds us to pray for the weakest in our community, those who can't take care of themselves, maybe those who don't have a, a place to live, maybe those that don't have enough food uh, those who have been forgotten, that reminds us to pray for them. And then the very last finger is the pinky finger, and there's one person that we haven't prayed for yet, and it's ourselves. We're to be last. We're, we're to put other people in front of us, and we're to be last. But we need to pray for ourselves. We need to pray that God would meet us in powerful ways. We need to pray that Jesus would come and be our Savior, that, that he would forgive our sins. So we're supposed to pray for those who are closest to us, those who point us in the right direction, our leaders, those who are weak, and ourselves. So next time you come to pray, prayer and you wonder, what in the world can I ever pray? Remember that five-finger prayer. Let's pray. Well, God, we thank you that you call us to pray. You, in fact, God, you, you allow us you allow us to pray. And God, we believe that you answer us back. So God, in our prayers, in our prayers, God, we pray, we, we ask that you would answer us back. We, we ask that you would call us to prayer. When we, look at our fin- when we look at our hands and look at the fingers on our hand, we're reminded to pray. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.